Well, with me today is uh, Stephen H. Benson. He's written a new book called When Faith Lights the Way, and it is an incredible journey. Uh, he is just an incredible resume and life journey, and it's such a great read that if you, whether you're into something heavy and technical, whether you just want something that God has done, whether you just want light reading, it actually kind of has elements of all those things mixed in, and, and I just really love it, and I can't wait to spend time with him and for him to share some of that with you. So, Stephen, thanks so much for fitting us into your busy schedule and uh, meeting with us. Well, thank you so much. Um, I didn't realize the book had so many different uh, avenues in there. Uh, I'm surprised. I should probably read that myself. Maybe you need to because I I've, I have got about uh, six or eight earmarks of illustrations from your book that I probably could preach from. So just so we're clear, we'll, we'll, we, may, we may touch on that a couple of times because I like it. I think there's a lot of stuff in there. You're selling yourself short. So before we get into too much of the meat of the story, though, talk a little bit about uh, you know, in your childhood, where you grew up, you know, when you went to church, getting saved, some of that. I know we're going to gloss over things that are kind of intermixed into the book here and there, but we'll kind of piece it together like that. So let's start from the beginning about who Stephen H. Vincent is and kind of how he even uh, came came to uh, uh, growing up. Well, I actually grew up in Dallas, Texas. Uh, had a very ordinary life, I would think. You might say that we were the actual Cleaver family from Leave it to Beaver. Uh, it was my, my mother and my father. Uh, my father was a veteran in World War II. He flew uh, missions, 30 combat missions in the Pacific during World War II as a pilot. Um, came back to, to the United States, uh, started working on a traveling meter crew where they would test meters in uh, all of North Texas. And they finally settled in Dallas, Texas, where I was born. Um, I lived in the same house from the time I was born until I graduated from Texas A&M. Uh, went to a small, I guess you would call it a medium-sized church called Irwindale Methodist Church uh, there in, in Dallas. Uh, did the normal things for people at that time, uh, played on the church softball team, sang in the church choir, uh, played football in high school. Just a very normal childhood for the, the 50s and 60s. 